Hi guys, Julia here, and I wanted to share another card with you using the My Favorite Things um, Birds of Paradise stamps. Uh, those of you who are subscribed to my channel, you have probably seen my original video that I had a um, like a pink bird there. And while I was creating that pink bird, I actually created a um, another bird as well. So I'm not using the Distressed Background stamps, but I'm going to be using the stamps and dies for the My Favorite Things um, Birds of Paradise. And as I mentioned previously because these are solid dies it's a little bit tricky to cut out a stamped image i know how to do it there are ways i know that it's just i prefer to do it this way so i stamped both birds at the same time back then but i decided to um, create two videos uh, because it's a little bit, the, my focus was a little bit different here. So the coloration is super easy. I'm using some oranges here to um, uh, color the beak and even added in a little bit of brown just to have a nice, a rich, deep shadow. And the rest of the coloration is really simple. I'm using uh, basically just two or three colors, not much more. Um, and I actually had intended to leave the body of the bird white. That was my original intent. Um, but later on, you will see when I place it on top of the background, um, it, it just didn't work. I don't know, it just didn't work so well. So I actually had to color in the body of the bird, even though that had not been my original intent. You can see here, I'm just, I only use two colors for the greens, one color for, for the browns, same greens as before, and here as well. You know, just doing su super easy blending, nothing fancy. Now, I have used some masking tape and just with my scissors cut a cloud shape. I know there are stencil out there now by my favorite things and I've actually ordered them, still waiting for my package to arrive. Actually, by the time you see this, hopefully it has arrived. Um, and I am just, uh, I, I went in with a very light ink and that seemed, you know, like a little too light. So I came back in with a, a little bit darker ink. And you have to experiment a bit with uh, when you create these cloud shapes because you don't want to go too dark and you don't want to extend the ink too far up because then, um, you know, you won't have that nice contrast. So you can see here that I'm very carefully um, going just over the edge, like not far, just over the edge. And then when most of the ink has come off of the, um, um, the ink dauber here, then I'm extending it a little bit and then I'm coming in with a little bit darker ink and just adding it around the edges. And you can also see that I place another piece of paper here on top of my mask to hold it in place so I won't get ink on my fingers because then when you then touch your project, it's very easy to get ink smudges all over the place. So don't do that. But you can see that I reused this one mask over and over and uh, to create my background. So that's if you don't want to buy uh, like this special stencils, this is super easy to do. That was just masking paper, uh, masking tape, um, two inch masking tape, super easy to do. And you can see the fun background that I created here. I added a strip of pattern paper to the very bottom. And uh, I think there's just a little bit of adhesive tape still peeking out from underneath that, that was intentional. And I'm using some Nouveau glitter, just um, dumping this on top of here and then rubbing it with my finger to set it. Of course, I need to add a sentiment as well. And then I can add my little bird here on top with some foam tape. Um, I, I'm not sure if it was a good idea to go in and add those dots. At that time, I thought I wanted them, but I think I overdid it. I think there's, I'm going to end up with too many dots. Um, yeah, and you know, in retrospect, you usually know better that you shouldn't have done something, but at that time, I thought it was a good idea. I also added some dots with my Stardust uh, gel pen, just for some additional glimmer. And that's it. That's the card that I, second card that I created. Also super fast, super fun. And I hope the person that gets it for their birthday will enjoy it. So here we go. We have a close up of the, um, of the glitter that I added. And here's the entire card. And you can see I even added a googly eye to the bird just for some interactivity and some fun. Nothing too fancy. Um, but look at those clouds in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.